Hey everybody, I'm Tony Fleming from Fleming's Ultimate Garage. Thanks for joining me on today's video and my good friend Stella over here saying hello to you. You know, uh, this is this is what I call collector car and I'll tell you why I call them collector cars because as we watch these cars here, especially Italian cars, right, with great style and uh, uh, performance and, and winning history and things like that continue to go up in value over time, which is why the hobby is so fun. So think about you know, like buying a car, enjoying it for, for a few years, and the potential to sell it for what you paid for or even more, which is, I don't know, I just think that that's uh, pretty cool. I'm not sure there's anything else out there that you, you can't drive your house around, right? So uh, why not enjoy some benefits this way? This here, we're talking about rally winning cars. Why? Because the drivetrains are fabulous. This, the, the suspension is done right, the interior is amazing, like everything about this car is so Italian. We're gonna go through, we're gonna look at some of the, I don't know, I get excited about it because you'll never see these on the road. You never see these, you go to a car show, you'll be the only one there uh, with something like this because it really is uh, spectacular. You're looking at this car in the video because you love the pictures of it. And what we wanna do is we wanna take the pictures to the next level and show you the real quality of this car. Underneath these bright lights in here, uh, you can see the ceiling in here. You can see uh, all of the paint quality we're gonna do, all that little stuff to see the quality of what you're getting. And, uh, and then we're gonna go have some fun with it. All right, so we talk about paint. We don't really need to talk about paint because I'm going to show you some paint. I'm going to show you great Rosso Corso race red paint, okay, here under the beautiful lights as well as uh, giving you kind of a mirror finish look at that too. These cars in red with the black interior and this black stripe, factory kind of this, uh, this kind of wheel here is an expensive, very rare wheel. You can, uh, most of the time you can't even get them anymore. Uh, they've been restored. I don't know, when I walk around this car, I go, this is a great looking car. I get this big smile on my face because it really is. Anyway, um, the stripe we put on, if you don't like the stripe, that's removable, okay? Uh, if you like it, great. Hope you do. If you don't, you're not going to hurt our feeling. We like everybody to get what they want. So that's really our goal there, all right? Let's move on up here for the Rosso Corso. What you want to do is look at this as being able to see the letters nice and crisp, being able to see the ceiling. Why are people selling cars, right? Uh, offering some really cool cars and not doing this for you and just taking photos. Well, because they're afraid to show you this and I want you to see this. This is a 1.3 S, right? It's a later version of these cars. And now we're gonna go ahead and get into the technical aspects as well as the restoration of it and see what you're getting. All right, so most people think these have always been 1.3s and they say, well, 1.3, is that a lot of power? Well, in the case of here, 1.3, uh, liters is packaged in here, twin side drafts. Most engines of 1.3 liters would have one carburetor or maybe even a one barrel carburetor, right? This is twin barrels, four of them all together, right? Delivering the power, okay? Uh, and then detailed and ready for whatever you wanna bring at it. Throw in disc brakes in here and a detailed engine compartment with decals, correct original uh, labels there, washer bag is in place, like all this is, looks really, really nice. And again, that's what you're hoping to get. You're hoping to get a, a car you can jump in and drive. These make a great sound. They sound like a sports car because they are a sports car. And the likelihood of you running into another one and seeing that, then when you open the hood, if you went to a car show, people have really never seen anything like this and you'll be able to share with them like, well, how do you get four cylinders in this tiny little square? Well, because the cylinders are staggered, right? They're not all just in a row. And, uh, and then you'll get into your technical talk about it and you're gonna have a lot of fun with this car. I just know that. I like little stuff like this where you, this works the way it's supposed to, right? This is all detailed with carpet. It's got a spare tire. It's painted correctly in there. It's got a jack, right? These are new weather strips around here. Uh, if you want to go to a car show, you won't be embarrassed to open all of the trunk and the hood and open up the whole car, show everybody what you got. This works the way it's supposed to. You just push this up. That spring loaded comes right on back down and closes exactly like it's supposed to. Nice. All right, so you walk up to this car and you go, this, is, this car is great looking. Oh yeah, this is my car. Right, nice, right? And you walk up and you go, wow, this is a great car. Today is going to be a great day. However, as great as it is outside, I think that once you get inside, it's even better. So hard to believe, let's go check that out, all right? So who, what kind of people 
make a car uh, with piping already here. Look how deeply sculpted these seats are, right? This great wood dash that's here, right? All of this little uh, touches, the way things just, they're just a seat. Like if you look at a Ferrari seat or things like that, they're just different than any other seat because the Italians just do it. For instance, like just look at the, just the latch to open the door. Instead of it just being a straight latch or a little handle there, they make this kind of cool piece where you can cup your fingers inside. It's just a nice touch. Got your dash here. You got a 7,000 RPM tack, 200 kilometer hour speedometer, full gauges plastered right in front of you, right? Um, and then, of course, this model here has the five speed instead of a four speed, right? And if you wanted to, you could hide a uh, modern stereo system in the glove box, kind of keeping the dash original uh, looking. This Nardi wheel is really nice, stainless, wood. Um, I go on and on about it, but you could take a couple people to dinner in this car, you could go to a winery in this car, you could go on a little rally or something like that with a significant other just to go for a cruise. You could drive it to work on a Friday, man. <sighs> Turn the damn phone off, like get rid of the Twitter feed, the Facebook feed, the boss feed, the emails, the texting, like all that stuff to say, listen, I'm on the way home, I'll see you when I get there, shut it off, stream some music in here. Work the shifter up and down as you're rolling through maybe some back roads this time instead of taking the highway each time. Keep yourself a break, brother. This is this is what does it. This right here is a game changer. You might not even need therapy anymore. All right, so we closed up this video on what I feel is just, I don't know, man, just Italian style all the way through, right? This car, uh, you know, we sell these from the 60s all the way to, to the end of the run of this one here, 76. And they never cease to just surprise me and amaze me. First off, the styling is fabulous. The sound of it's great. The power's amazing. Now I see why they won many a, a rally championship in these cars. Uh, they're, just, they're just awesome, awesome little vehicles, right? In Rosso Corso, restored to me means what? What? I can get in the car and I can go for a drive today and that's exactly what we want you to have. Here, that's what we do, all right? Anyway, uh, we saw a lot of cool stuff, we saw a lot of detail stuff, and we saw a lot of fun stuff, right? Call us, 301-816-1000. We tell you all about this, uh, this Fulvia 1.3S, all right? And find a way to get it in your garage. Don't forget to hit the share button at the bottom down there. Get the message out for us. We really appreciate that. And if you hit the like button as well, that helps us get our message to many, many people as we're always trying to do that. You're right. Support a local business and share with your friends. I think they might like it as well. And I'll see you on the next one.